Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be discussing some middle game and game tactics while solving puzzles. I hope it's going to be interesting and instructive both and you get to learn something new out of this. So let's begin and if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and keep supporting my content. And I hope everyone improves their chess just like me. Okay, so this is a situation here. Now, pawn is undefended, but we have bigger threats to be made. A pawn forward would mean that we are queening soon. So this pawn take should not bother us, I think. We can cope up with, uh, with it uh, as well later on, because after the opponent does take, uh, and if we promote, we would have some escape squares eventually if my open tries to take. And you can get the rook in between as well. So I think I should be moving this forward. Yes. Now is the question, what do we do? Um, open can, if I promote here, oh, I can promote with the knight as well. Knight is a check. Open can go here. And then probably we can barrage him with rook check and then queen check eventually maybe. Or maybe I can just get a queen on the board and then opponent does take. And I move here. Open can give another check. If from here I get the rook in between. If from f6 then I can of course get my rook in between and then there's no such checkmate threat i think is there any uh, opponent can give another check from here then i can escape looks fine to me but somehow i think knight promotion to knight can also be something which can be done that would be a check opponent will move here say uh, trying to attack the knight i can give a check but then opponent can take the knight uh, and then I can give another check and then open can get the rook in between as well. So I think let's go with the queen. Yep. And now if I go here, then uh, another check and then another and then I can save it. So now I have to go down here. Oh, yes, open gets the queen and now I can save with the rook. Yeah, this is what the exact move order we thought and it panned out well. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, what is it? Queen over to c4 from c1 is the last move. It's always good to understand what the open was trying to achieve, trying to save the queen there. And of course, we want to hunt down that queen, but we can go for some checkmating patterns as well, which can be helpful. So one of the moves that is striking me right away is knight to g5. What knight to g5 does is pressurizes the f7 further. That is one move that I see right now. Now, oh, and if my opponent then plays pawn forward, trying to defend the f7, we can take a pawn maybe. We can, we can maybe take a bishop. Uh, taking the bishop would be kind of an exchange that I don't think computer would love to do. Also, let's find some other possibility as well. What all we have got in this situation. How is knight to d2 that attacks the queen and the bishop? And we continue chasing the queen. Our bishop is controlling squares, queen is controlling squares, our rook is controlling this. So opponent has just got one square here and then if our knight is here then of course this is also taken. Opponent can still come here though but I take and opponent takes that's going to be bad because once queen comes in here that can be causing some troubles to my king. So it's better if the queen stays away. <laughs> A uh, knight here would mean opponent can take and I can take back with the bishop and then again I am not having any checkmating patterns from there as well. Um, so knight over to g5 makes more sense to me. 
so I can take at least the bishop out of the game eventually. That that looks promising. Maybe bishop here trying to cut down on this diagonal so the rook is separated. But that okay, wait, what if I sacrifice my queen here? Queen here, opponent takes, I take, if the opponent takes, of course. I take back with the rook. That's the check. And opponent has to put the bishop in between, which I can take again. But then my opponent will run away eventually. So now nah, queen sacrifice is not working. Um, knight here is one of the ideas still. This is kind of more forcing for opponent to take maybe with the bishop. But then I take, I spoil my pawn structure or maybe I take with the bishop myself. But then I'm not having any checkmating attacks as would have loved to. So a couple of moves here are present here. I would go with knight to g5. Yeah, that was nice. Now, of course, we can take here. Open got the queen back, attacking the bishop. Why didn't he save the pawn? Maybe it's not important. But I think I should take the pawn first. With the check, yep, open and close sideways, and then we can get our bishop backwards. So we solved it, fair enough. Okay, this one again is hitting knight moves away, so we got a discover attack on the queen with the bishop. Uh, it's a reverse triangle actually, it's attacking the rook as well. Now, the bishop can be taken with a couple of pieces, the knight takes would be better because otherwise knight is being attacked but then uh oh if you take with the knight too early now that's gonna be a checkmate so if queen takes then opponent does take the knight as well and then what are we doing about it maybe rook up trying to defend or we have something better here see i um can I give a check from somewhere this doesn't work Queen here and then trying to take on the rook can be one of the ideas. What else we've got? If I take this, then I'm again going to threaten a lot of stuff, but I don't know if I have a lot of time remaining to be saving this checkmate that's coming right down my face. How is queen here attacks the rook? Maybe rook up. But then I lose my queen. My queen is undefended. If I take this with the queen, then then what's the next threat? Open can take this is the next move. Once my opponent does take it, I have a rook up and my opponent has to move. And then I can take this rook, the other rook, over on d7, which is hanging. And that looks fine to me, I think. I'll take. Open takes with the pawn. We didn't consider this factor. Okay. Now what? Queen here saves it. Oh, sorry. Rook here. Rook over to c2. Saves everything, I think. And we're forcing on the pawn as well. Open takes that. Now we can take this queen, of course. Should be handy. Uh, that's a queen exchange, actually. Do I have anything better? Do I have anything better than queen exchange? I doubt right now. Let's exchange the queens and then I can take the rook. That was also nicely solved. Okay, so a few puzzles we solved, which were tricky as well. Um, rook takes, or I should just proceed with the pawn. If I proceed with the pawn, my opponent can also play king over to g2. King g2. How am I dealing with king g2? Because then I can't promote for sure. So I can definitely don't have to play pawn forward first. King g2 cannot be defended then. Like king will always defend the pawn. If I take the pawn, doesn't work because my opponent does take. And then 
can of course control the last rank and there's no such attack happening uh, how is rook over to h2 sacrificing a rook opponent will have to take another option and i push open can go here and stop me from queening so again not the right move how's rook h1 h1 meets with again king to g2 and then i can't do anything about it how is uh rook to g2 okay this is one idea rook g2 open cannot take but do something about some other piece and then uh maybe we can just push the pawn no, we can't if i take and then proceed now nah, that's not helping as well maybe i just go here and grab a pawn but then open is too fast on the other side of the board and will be queening very quickly okay so this is a tough one maybe i'm not seeing the right move pawn forward um doesn't help much or it does it doesn't actually if i play pawn forward up and can get king g2 how do i stop king from coming to g2 right now it's stopped actually maybe rook a1 and then trying to come here with a check which would force my opponent to move up and then i can proceed and this looks like a most likely solution here open move straight away now check doesn't make sense because opponent will take with the rook rather i'll just keep pushing my pawn oh wait a second if i push my pawn opponent is gonna come here but then i can still proceed yeah i have to push the pawn open gives a check now again i have to run to one of the sides and i think it has to be this side now but if i go here open gives another check i move open takes the pawn so definitely not that side let's go here and then we can slide under eventually yeah this was winning found the right solution took time but yes that's more important solving the puzzles correctly now knight is under attack that's a big threat pawn forward saves that threat uh, but then open can play pawn forward then we can move the knight as well so no such big threat i think what else have we got here in this situation so far uh we can still play knight straight away no we can't because the of the pin can i move the king that would be a bit passive as well but that's actually saving your king for from any dangers but your knight goes away don't want to give the knight for sure so have to save the knight to begin with queen here also saves the knight by the way and that's closer to the opponent king and then we can probably push around some checks from somewhere that can be one of the ideas of saving this check with queen goes to f3 which is attacking the h3 pawn as well of course knight can hop in any time and then we are threatening checkmate as well or maybe we just um play pawn forward that's that looks passive i don't know yeah queen there was the right move and now the threat is opponent had got the knight so i can maybe place my queen here give a check and then take on the knight but my opponent does take this and i have to move and then open takes this but then i think i can get the rook active and then i'm threatening checkmate yeah this makes sense this does make sense uh i have to move the queen of course my queen is under attack if i just take the pawn then open can take the knight and that's bad there's no way that i can move my queen and defend my knight as well except for going back to f7 that would be again bad as well because rook comes in and there's a lot of tempo that that white's building i think i have to give a check from here yeah that was the right move and if open move somewhere like anywhere i can just a get the knight if here then i can take a pawn as well knight's hanging too yeah so we solved it right okay uh, 2181 wow that that is impressive for myself <laughs> but anyway i think um 
first thoughts are rook takes pawn as a check. I'm blocking the file, and this is already blocked. Open goes here, and then a check. Open goes somewhere else. Let's run from a check meeting soon. Queen goes here, open still goes here. Or backwards. If he goes backwards, I will have another check. Then open runs away, I can follow up. Confusing. Okay, let's take one possibility at a time. I'll begin with rook to c2. I take. I'm controlling this, I'm controlling this and this. So open has to move only square is e3. After king to e3, I can give another check. Push my opponent around. Uh, maybe I can take the rook. That will, might lead to a perpetual eventually. Uh, maybe I can give the check from other side of the board too. That might be one of the possibilities. If queen takes, I lose the control of the last rank as well as this. So I don't feel it very confident to taking with the queen. So I'll take with the rook. Okay, that was fine so far. Now I have rook takes uh, rook, but then open can take back. And then there is no checks coming. Maybe I can give one from here and take a pawn, but open has got too many pawns. So I need to continue with giving checks, I think. And no, it doesn't work. Maybe from here, it was the right move, trying to cut it off. And then you can proceed with the pawn, maybe. Moving the pawn, no? Uh, check, and this loses the rook on the spot. Okay. Let's try the next one. 2170. If this is wrong, I'm closing this right now. <laughs> if this is right, we'll proceed. Uh, okay, so my pawn is undefended right now. That's what Open is trying to achieve. Also restricting my knight movement maybe because queen trades happen otherwise, which I'm not sure uh, white is willing to do. Have ideas of queen here and checkmating, but the knight stands in between those ideas. So, uh, what we can do here is maybe just give the bishop doesn't work i think um pawn bishop here would still lose the pawn do i have anything with the knight very complex middle game and i think this is something which many of us would have seen before of course there's one more pawn which is hanging right now So a couple of pawns hanging actually, and I can't save both. I can't save both. Need to find more compelling moves somehow here. What are the most dangerous moves here? Queen here. I in the diagonal, but doesn't work. Because there's no such threat. I can just take this, but then Rook comes in front. That's more going to be worrisome because I'm rip uh, doing just opening up the attack towards my king only. Um, knight is kind of blocked a lot. Knight can go here trying to check or exchange. And if the exchange happens, I can take with the bishop. But then bishop is again passive there in the despite being in the center because it's eyeing up chain of pawns if pawn forward opponent can take so there's no pawn break i see right now um pawn forward opponent takes i can take i can take but then there's nothing much after that is there something which i'm missing in this pawn break open will take for this pawn maybe and i can if he takes with the pawn, I can simply take the bishop. If he doesn't take with the pawn and takes with, okay, so pawn forward, pawn. Open can take again with the pawn as well. There's no problems with that as well. Okay. Um, if I try to defend this pawn, then 
I lose the d4, which looks critical as well. If pawn bishop here, opponent takes, and I take, then suddenly my bishop, my bishop can be saved here because rook is defending. But then again, the pawn on b2 is falling apart. So let's just recalculate this once. Bishop goes here, opponent does take. If he does, I take back. Knight under attack. Knight has to move. Knight goes somewhere and I can save the pawn eventually, but that's not something that's gaining me a serious advantage or some material advantage there. Uh, bishop here is another move that I can think of. Open can take, open has to take, I think, or just go backwards. Uh, if goes backward, then what I have, I can trade, but then I don't win anything significant again. Um, if open does trade, I can take back. That pawn is going to be a pain, but first of all, I'll be losing a couple of pawns. If I just move my knight somewhere, say here, uh, I'm actually threatening check and I'm actually threatening queen. So I think queen takes would come first. I think I have to move the knight. But then I move the knight. I first give it a check. Okay, this is bad. This is going beyond my level for sure. I don't know how to solve this one. Knight goes here, open takes. No, open first takes the pawn. So I need to defend this pawn. What's the way to defend this pawn? Um, queen here i lose this and then knight is hanging if i go here then again open can take either of those moving the king will definitely not be an option okay what if i just move the knight and open takes it i can just defend with the bishop and then i'm threatening check uh and that looks aggressive too i don't know no okay what was the solution Sacrificing a knight. If opponent takes the queen, then you oh, that's a mate. That's a mate in one. I didn't see that coming for sure. And if if opponent tries and save it, pawn forward, pushing him backwards, or just trying to go here, and then I can still chase the queen. Open goes back. I have a check coming, and then after bishop takes, the queen is going to go. Open can trade here. We can take extra pawn. The king would be wide open. Rook takes bishop. Yep, that's completely winning. That was a very complex puzzle. A very complex one, to be honest. 22. 12 as per the puzzle rating again way higher than what i am at current level but yeah we had some ideas which of course didn't work out i hope it helps you improve your game we had some good puzzle solving today and um, keep watching and sharing i shall see you tomorrow again with some interesting video thank you so much for your time take care Bye bye